This is a presentation copy of the first edition of Charles Darwin's On the Origin of Species. I'm Adam Douglas from Peter Harrington. Now, the key thing about this book is that it is a presentation copy of probably the most important botanical work of the 19th century. And here we can see that it is inscribed E. W. Harcourt from the author, 1859 the year of publication, of first publication, and then the printed title page confirms that, on the origin of species by means of natural selection, and so on, published in London by John Murray in 1859. And this copy also has the half title, which confirms that too, with the two quotes facing the title. Now, Harcourt was um, interested in birds. He was an ornithologist, and he corresponded with Darwin. And Darwin actually mentions him in the text, which is why he received a presentation copy. Here on p page 391, we say, uh, Darwin says, many European and African birds are almost every year blown there to Madeira, as I am informed by Mr. E. V. Harcourt. Now, it says E.W. on the title. Actually, he had three initials. He was Mr. E.V.W. Harcourt. So uh, that explains the anomaly there. And the book has on the front, paste down, Harcourt's armorial book plate, showing that it was from his library. Now, presentation copies of Origin of Species, of the first edition, are really scarce. Uh, there was a list that Murray sent out from his office um, of 23 recipients of the book. Darwin himself never inscribed them. They were inscribed by Murray's clerk from the author. And uh, this one, we assume, is in fact inscribed by Harcourt himself on receipt. Um, we can imagine that he wasn't on that list of uh, 23, and so... Uh, Darwin suddenly remembered or was reminded that uh, he owed him a copy of the book for having given him help in it. So that's uh, uh, remarkably rare from that point of view and uh, an interesting association to scientists. Harcourt also shows up in the Darwin correspondence as having given him information, uh, lent him a book, a German ornithologist book that Darwin wanted to read. So the book itself is not in its original binding. Um, it's been rebound, as uh, most gentlemen would do for their library, and it's in a, an attractive contemporary green half-calf. It's a polished half-calf. Um, and the sides, the boards, are covered in marbled paper. And if I turn the book, you can see that it's also got matching marbled edges to match with the boards, which is a, a touch typical of the period. And it's a very handsome copy of the book. It's clean and fresh internally, no problems to report. A really very nice book. And the chief interest is, is of course, that it is a very rare presentation copy of the most important scientific book of the 19th century. There are full details of this book and others on our website.